Hi, Lars Christensen here, part of Autodesk marketing team. Let's do a quick inventor tip. Let's talk about retrieving dimensions on your drawing. Yep, most of us still need to make these, but Inventor actually have a pretty cool feature to convert the sketch dimension into usable dimensions on your Inventor drawings. Now, there's different ways to insert these, and I'll show you that in a minute, but let's go the default way and just create a drawing. Also, I give you a heads up that if your model is too complex, you might not choose to use this option, but check it out. Now, I'm a right click kind of guy, so right click and hit base view. And let me just place a few views. Let's insert the base view. We probably need a front and let's get the isometric view. I like the isometric one shaded, so I'm going to right click and hit Edit view, shade it, and there. All right, and move this up a little. All right, so if I right click on the base view, you will see that around the middle here, we have retrieve dimensions. And it comes up with a retrieve dimension dialog box. And there's different options in here, but if I just go up and select dimensions, you will see that we get all the sketch uh, dimensions that apply to that view show up right here in our drawing. And I can now either go over and I can select the different dimensions uh, that I want to keep. Um, I could also just, um, you know, be lazy and just window the whole thing and then just uh, right click and, and, and hit uh, OK and then have all those uh, dimensions on there. You will even see that um, one of my dimensions here uh, has a tolerance on it. That was because I put a tolerance on uh, that dimension right when I sketched up uh, that part. So you can do that too. Now, uh, I maybe just have to, to drag these dimensions around, organize them uh, a little bit. Maybe some of them I don't want. I can just highlight them and, and delete them. But it's a very quick way to get dimensions uh, on, your, on, on your drawing here. And if you are the one who model ups the parts in Inventor in the 3D environment, uh, if you think ahead a little bit, you know, this can be a really neat tool, kind of like save you some, some steps. Now, sometimes when we are... Um, placing dimensions in sketches, uh, we don't, you know, necessarily pick things that, that make sense on a drawing. So this 160, um, I don't want that one. I, I'm just going to delete that one. Now, one of the things that we see sometimes on our forum um, and, and people kind of like question is how to uh, display um, dimensions to radiuses and, and circles. So let me just show that. So the, another tip here. Um, we know that if we select the edge here and then the center of the circle, we will get a uh, from center to center. Uh, now, another option is if I select um, the, the hole and then if I zoom in here, take a look at my cursor. Uh, you will actually see that it changes the look and that's actually the tangent. So that's one of the things that I like to show people that, you know, there is a little uh, indication coming back at you, this feedback. So that's good to know. Now, of course, there is also um, Inventor is smart enough to break down the tangent point. So if I select here, you will see that the 240 um, is, is the tangent. The last one I want to show is something that new users many times are struggling a little bit with, and that is the intersection dimension. Now it's when you know the, the steps, it's actually not that difficult. So I'm going to select the hole again. Uh, and then I'm going to go over and select the first line of the intersection. And then I'm going to go over and I'm going to right click on the second line and turn on intersection. And then I can actually select that line. And now you will see that an vendor uh, places that intersection dimension. So that's a pretty neat trick there. Just wanted to show that while I was in here. And now, of course, I can delete the other one. So it was just to show that there is, um, you know, a couple of different options. You can insert uh, these inside of Inventor. Now, I can also go over to my other drawing view and re uh, retrieve the dimensions over there. Same way, just right click and retrieve dimensions and hit select dimensions. And maybe on this one, I'm just going to pick them. So I can just go in and say, all right, which one makes sense for me to have showing in this drawing view? And I might just pick uh, a few of them here um, and then right click and, and hit OK. And then again, uh, you know, maybe just um, make them look a little nice. Now, uh, one thing I want to show is that when you work this way, that 
you know, maybe this uh, 390 dimension on my page view, I actually rather want that one over uh, on the other view. All I have to do is, is delete it. So I select it and hit delete. And then if I go back over to, to the other view and, and retrieve the dimensions again, you will actually see that one uh, pops up. So Inventor is smart enough to know that you cannot have the same dimension appear on the same uh, view, uh, but it also understands that if you remove one from one view, that then it will then it will be available for the other. So pretty clever. Uh, now, the last thing I just wanted to show that there's a couple of different ways that this can work. So you just saw me do it kind of like the manual way by right clicking uh, on each view, but you can actually also go up to tools, go into application uh, options. And if you go over to the drawing tab, the first one right there is actually retrieve all model dimensions uh, on view placement. So if you check that one, then anytime you, you place your base view, all those uh, dimensions uh, will appear. Um, now again, if you have some complicated uh, sketches or, or geometry, you do end up with a lot of uh, dimensions. But hey, you know, it's a good option to have. Another way is actually when you go into uh, a base view uh, to select your first base view, right here on, on this tab up here, you can actually also insert it. So you don't have to go through the steps of placing and then right click and hit retrieve dimensions. You can just check up here and then it will actually display. So I hope that uh, you found these uh, tips uh, helpful. You know, play around with it. You know, make it, uh, see how it works for you. And I hope that you uh, think that this was a solid tip. Well, <laughs> maybe not solid. It was 2D drawings. But I uh, hope you uh, found it helpful. Until the next time, man, take care and uh, hope to talk to you soon.